From flying cars to laptops that fold like origami, gadget makers large and small unveiled all kinds of buzzy, Jetson-esque, and just plain weird tech over this past week at CES 2023. Here are three significant finds that are going to usher us into that next era of everyday tech in our lives. Behold the fantastical future of laptops. Lenovo just unveiled its YogaBook 9i. It's the boldest, most beautiful, and by far the best attempt by any company to date to make a dual touchscreen notebook work in the real world. It features two full-size 13.3 OLED displays that you can use in portrait or landscape mode with different content on each screen or as one seamless waterfall-like glowing image. You can also use its partial touchscreen keyboard or the detachable physical keyboard that's included. Also included, this absolute stunner of an origami-like flipping, folding, morphing kickstand. We've been hoping a company would get dual screens right, and it looks like this one finally did. The company said this new notebook will cost $2,000 when it comes out in April. There are so many cool gadgets here, but some are potentially life-changing, like this little Cardia mobile card, the first ever credit card-sized personal EKG cleared by the FDA to find out if your heart rate's normal in just 30 seconds. You turn it on, you connect it to an app on your smartphone, you put your thumb or your index fingers on these little electrodes here, and then check that out. It's recording my EKG in real time. In fact, it'll tell me what my heart is doing in basically less time than it's taken me to tell you how to use this. It can detect up to six of the most common heart arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats. It's incredible to get this kind of information in real time and you can share it with your doctor with one quick tap of an app. This is available now for just under a hundred bucks. There you go. See, proof, I have a heart. Well, I don't think you could top this. The flying car is here, people, and it's real and it's awesome. No longer just a flight of fancy. This is Aska's A5 prototype. It's still a prototype. Yeah, flying car. I mean, I don't know. You could call it an airplane with wheels or a car with wings. Either way, this is what we've been wanting, you know, since we were super sucked into the Jetsons way back when. I mean, honestly, this has to be the most Jetson-like bit of tech I've seen so far. Airtime with this puppy is only about 25 minutes right about now. That's all the longer the battery life gives you. Kind of like the early days of consumer drones when, you know, they'd stay up for about five minutes or so. So it already beats that. You know, not sure I would actually, yeah, I actually would. I would go up in the air in this because it's a flying car. It's a four seater about the same size as a large SUV. An SUV with wings, that is. But you know what? These wings fold up. So it takes up an area the size of an SUV. That means you can just roll it. Do you roll it or fly it right in the old garage? Can you imagine what your neighbors would think if you came home with these? And you know what? You can if you have $800,000 and some patience. This is the next transportation for the next 100 years. The Aska CEO told us that this will take off, like for real. Like we'll be seeing these on the roads and in the skies in just three years from now. They're estimating 2026. Of course, they have to get through a bunch of FAA things. And how do you think that you would get a license to drive? Or is it pilot one of these? A lot of questions to answer. But until then, it's a flying car. Do, do I need to say anything more? From CES 2023, I'm Jennifer Jolly. See you in the skies, on the road. I am dying to take a ride in this. Can we just do it? Um.